Welcome to another Noble Review Session for Students of Economics. I'm Mr. Medico, and today we're going to look at an individual's budget line, or a budget constraint. Right this second, you are watching this economics lesson. You are also sacrificing something very important, like an episode of your favorite TV show that you could easily be streaming on your computer, which is probably only about two clicks away. That is your opportunity cost. The same thing happens when you go shopping. When you decide to buy a pair of sneakers, you may have to give up buying a pair of jeans. Let's say summer is only a month away and Sam is very excited for beach season. She needs to decide how many new swimsuits and pairs of flip-flops that she can afford. This depends on her income and the price of swimsuits and flip-flops. We're going to assume that Sam's budget is $80 and that a swimsuit is priced at $20 and a pair of flip-flops is priced at $10. We can create a budget line like this one to see her possibilities. Given her budget of $80, she can afford a maximum of four swimsuits provided that she doesn't buy any flip-flops. At the other extreme, she can afford to buy eight pairs of flip-flops provided she doesn't buy any swimsuits. As we move along this budget line, in either direction, you can see that in order to gain more of one product, Sam has to sacrifice some units of the other product. This model is really just a neat way of illustrating the concept of an opportunity cost. Because the line has a constant slope, we know the opportunity costs are also constant. If Sam is considering eight flip-flops and zero swimsuits, we can determine the opportunity cost of buying one swimsuit. To buy one swimsuit from this point, she would have to sacrifice two pairs of flip-flops, which is eight flip-flops minus six flip-flops. And to get one more swimsuit, she would sacrifice two additional pairs of flip-flops, or six minus four. As you can see, the opportunity cost of one, one swimsuit is always two pairs of flip-flops. We are simply dividing the change in flip-flops over the change in swimsuits. To calculate the opportunity cost of one flip-flop, we do the same thing, but now it's the change in swimsuits over the change in flip-flops. If Sam goes from zero to two pairs of flip-flops, she sacrifices one swimsuit, four minus three. So the opportunity cost of just one flip-flop would be one half of a swimsuit. Each point along the budget line represents a combination of goods that she can afford with her $80 budget. She cannot afford any of the combinations that lie outside of her budget line. However, Sam can afford any combination of these goods that fall inside her budget line. To maximize her satisfaction, or what economists call utility, she would want to find the right combination of these two goods on the budget line. In order to find the optimal combo, we would need to know Sam's marginal utility of consuming swimsuits and flip-flops. We would then find where the ratios of marginal utility to price are equal for both goods. We'll go over that in a different video. Well, that wraps up this noble economics lesson. To download Noble Review books, lessons, and podcasts, head over to NobleEconomics.com. Thanks for watching. Until next time.